everybody, it's me, Sam, Kermit Von Frog 12. Um, I am doing a collaboration um, with Jen, Real Girl Makeup, and I actually had done this look before and had so many requests to duplicate it that I thought it'd be the perfect time to mush both in. Um, we're focusing on the Wet n Wild Venice Beach collection, and yeah, so let's just, uh, <clears throat> let's just get started, will we? I have nothing on my face, and my hair's up in my little buns. Uh, let me move my tank top. It's sweltering hot out there. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to start with my eyes today since this palette, Wet n Wild palette, a lot of the powders are kind of powdery. <laughs> so we're going to use the Fergie Wet n Wild Eye Primer. It's going to get a little bit here on my eyelids. This will just help ensure a nice smooth application and help the product stick to the areas we want to stick. So um, if you're wondering why I'm looking over here, I kind of tilted my mirror over to the side just to make it easier to film. If you don't like that angle, I'll try a new one. You're actually kind of high up, aren't you? Yeah, let's try that. Hey! <laughs> also, I have my Shoji screen back um, because I found that it's easier to do a makeup look when it's focusing on my face and not my backdrop. Taking uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, we're going to milkify our eyelid. And I'm just throwing that on there, slapping it on, and then using my finger, I'm going to blend it into a smooth base. A lot of the products I'm using today are going to be Wet n Wild, actually. I thought that'd be fun. Because I have a huge Wet n Wild collection. I just got it on my nose. <laughs> oh, gosh. Makeup is fun. Makeup is like finger paints for adults sometimes. Okay. We're going to use the Boardwalk Boozing Palette. Can you read that? Mainly. Because I just love it so much. Taking a MAC 239, I'm going to go into the... Uh, as Jen would put it, the baby poop color, which is like my favorite color. And we're going to pack that packet onto most of the lid, the mobile lid here. I love this color so much, so much. Jen was worried about uh, offending me when she called it that baby poop color. And I was like, I like that color. <laughs> I'm going to flip the 239 over and I'm going to take the shimmery green shade on the other side of the brush and put that on the outer edge of the mobile lid. And I'm just kind of packing and blending as I go. See that? I have a table right where my elbow goes. Do the other side. These palettes are super fun when you're ready to play with color. I hope you don't mind the sweat. <laughs> I know color can be quite intimidating, but I really enjoy using it. All right, next I want to actually take product down. I'm going to take my broke up uh, creme brulee single shadow from Wet n Wild. It broke during my move and I'm looking for, I'm going to use this uh, all over shadow brush from Sephora. It's a nice broad C shape and I'm going to dip into my creme brulee and push that up under my eyebrow area. Give me something to blend into. <clears throat> I haven't done my eyebrows, as you can tell, because I have no personality. So my husband calls my eyebrows, calls my eyebrows my personality. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to take a another two three nine. This one's a bit frayed, and I'm going to take that vivacious pink color there and dip my brush into it. And this is where you get kind of nervous because you're like, hey, what are you doing? There's so many colors already. I like it. I'm going to throw this into my 
sort of crease. I have um, slightly hooded eyes, so I make my own crease. My own socket, would you? Because I have a crease, it's just a fold though. See, I'm just pushing that back and forth. Using, you know, I think everybody needs to have at least one goat haired bristle in their arsenal because it does such an amazing job at blending color without much effort. You don't have to push too hard. You see I'm just barely gently making little motions. I just switch my brush to a broader side. I can do a bigger sweep. How you like me now? I'm using the same brush because that's how I roll. I'm going to go into this uh, beautiful burgundy purple. And deepen up my crease. I might need a smaller brush. Yeah. Where's my smaller brush? I'm going to use this one by e.l.f. It's a contour brush. <clears throat> this is going to help me deepen my crease. Layering colors, color theory. So much fun. It's like watercolors sometimes. That's good. The other side. When the purple blends in with that green, I start getting a, a weird blue hint. It's nice. I like it. Neon rainbows are my soul. Okay. Can you see that so far? You're like, harsh lines ahead. Yeah, I know. Taking a... Where's my soft blending brush? I'm going to use this deluxe crease brush and I'm going to just start to blur some of those lines out. of a bold eye makeup look though is actually seeing the color not blend <laughs> so I know that sounds weird sorry sorry about it not sorry taking a detail brush from Real Techniques I'm going to dip into that yellow put that right here in the tear duct just to add more vivacious color okay and finally um, I'm going to take the panther color from the Wet n Wild. It's like a black. It's like a black. It's black. And the Wet n Wild blue brush. It's goat hair. Cheap brush. Get one if you can't afford a 239 from MAC. And really just add that shadow I need right there. See how I needed that? I needed that. <clears throat> Yeah, I needed that. All right, eight minutes in, just on my eyes. I'm gonna show you this. Huh. I'm sure you all seen this trick before. You take a makeup wipe and you wipe down your corner to get a nice crisp look and get all the extra makeup powder off. Makeup powder is a technical term. I swear. Alright, so I'm gonna get my foundation on and I'll be back in a second. I got my eyebrows on, I got my face on, well, my foundation and powder. And I started doing my eyeliner going, oh wait, I'm supposed to do this on air. <laughs> so the Fergie Wet n Wild On Edge Longwear Eye Pencil is how I'm lining my upper lash line. It's a nice creamy formula. It does skip a little, so you have to be patient. But if you wanted to tight line or um, do your waterline, this is a nice product for that. Is it on straight? <laughs> I'm going to take my little detail brush that I used in 
gonna take the green color. Green, green, green. Not the lime one, just the green. And I felt like adding some definition underneath my eyelid. So that's what I'm doing. With my favorite color. Gotta make that face too. And I have the uh, pearly white Fergie eyeliner, and I'm gonna use that in my waterline. If you don't have the jumbo milk pencil, this would work too all over your lid. So many colors, so little time. Let's curl our lashes. Handy dandy eyelash curler. And let's see, the mascara I want is not out. Found it. I'm on par. CoverGirl Super Sizer. Have you tried this mascara yet? I need to get a new one. Mine's finally running out. I really like it though. Go make that face. Come together right now over me. Boom. I can't wait to see what Jen's look is. I think I got a sneak peek of it on Instagram. And it looked pretty. <laughs> um, let's do a little bit of face work. I'm going to start with a blush product. This is the Wet n' Wild, ooh, that just got my eyes. Wet n' Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection in Around the Clock Blush in Brush with Destiny. Looks like nothing on camera. Very pretty though, very pretty. Watch. Come together right now. See, I, I, I kind of scrub my brush blush into my face. Kind of odd. It's just the way this e.l.f. brush works best for me, though. Okay, so I got, I got some blush on. I wanted to use this, but I don't see the powder brush I want to use it with. I'm going to use this, like, random brush. I'm going to take the contour color and just warm up my face just a touch because you know that's how we roll i don't really like to contour much i might do the tip of my nose like this just to shorten it and slim it a little because i have a big nose but i don't focus on it i usually don't focus on things i'm not the best happiness about. Best happiness is how you say it. That's the terminology. Um, I'm going to take a fan brush. This is a miniature one by Sephora. No, Smashbox. And I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Hollywood Boulevard highlighter. It's, it turns into this beautiful color. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh, so pretty. I put it right here and right there because that's where I want my bone structure to like be highlighted. I'm going to take a little on my finger right there, the tip of my nose to help lift it. Just blending it in. Ooh, smexy. So smexy. Love it. Love it. Okay. Um, Excuse me, itchy nose. Um, this eye look definitely would support eyelashes. I just don't feel like applying them right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do a lipstick. I'm going to use Just Peachy 903C.
just peachy. And then I'm going to center it with Sunset Peach 516C. That brings out more of the shimmer. So, what do you think? Would you try it out? Would you wear it? I actually think it's kind of wearable, but that's me. I'm going to turn this off. No. Yes. What do you think? I'll bring you closer. It's a party look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, anywho, I'm so glad that Jen wanted to do a collab with me. Um, these are limited edition palettes that are in Walgreens right now, and I collect wa um, all wet and wilds. So, had to get them. Had to get them. This one is my favorite one of them all, the Boardwalk Boozing. This is High Flying Colors, and this is Temporary Solutions, which is a fun one. It has a white in there that I could use um, to highlight with. Maybe I should. No, 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 no. Anywho, so I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, and I'm so glad I got to do this collab with you, Jen. Um, if you want me to do some more looks like this, I'd be more than happy to. It's always my pleasure to put makeup on in front of a camera. <laughs> it ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun. Bye.